here again, and today I want to make a video about the static type in C++, or the static keyword. Now the static, now the word static is another keyword in C++, and allows you to do some different things. So without further ado, let's continue. So as you can see here, I did a little bit of setting up a preparation for this um, video, and what I have here is I have a main function which calls help three times. And what the help function does is it creates an int called 10, it prints out this integer i, which is equal to 10, and then adds 2 to it, for no real reason, if you know what's going on. Because the in, once I exit out of this function, the value of i, 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 have no, I am out of scope, it's called once I exit this function, and I can't really reference it anymore. So when I call this function again for the second time right here, in my main method, the value just gets, I, I make another integer called i, set the 10, print it out, again 10, and then I increment it by 2. Same thing for the third time. So the basically, when I increment it by 2, I do not retain that value, which is kind of cool, which is um, kind of interesting. So as you can see here, I get three tens in the bottom left. So what if, for say, I wanted to retain that value of 10, or I wanted to retain it so it would print out 10, 12, 14. So every time I incremented it, that value stayed the same. So what I want to do here is use something called the static keyword. And the static keyword keeps this from happening. So it, what it does is it, it retains the value you change it to. So the static, the, static, the static integer i that I automatically made i will now automatically get, um, it will only get initialized once. It will get initialized the first time the help function is run. It will get set to 10, I will print out 10, and then I will increment it to 12. And that 12 will retain in the static value. It will say, okay, this static value is now the same. And so when I run it again, it will look at the static in at i and will say, oh, hey, I've already made this integer i. It's equal to 12. It doesn't reassign it to 10. So that's something kind of good to gloss over. So once you run the function multiple times, its value will be whatever happened to it. It won't get reassigned to what you have in this statement right here. That's very important. That's why it does not reassign the 10 in the comments. So then I'm going to print it out and I'm going to increment it 12. So it sh I should get 12, 10, 12, 14 when I run this program. Let me build it first. I hope everyone's having a magical holiday season. And so I get 10, 12, and 14. So static retains the value when it's declared within the functions. So this can be good to use for say, if you're counting, if you want to keep track of something, maybe you're counting your GPA, and for every, for every, you know, based on if you get an A, you want to add four, if you get a B, you want to add three, and you don't want to lose that value because you're calculating your GPA over maybe many semesters or many grades or many classes. So you want to keep that GPA, and you don't want it to get assigned to zero every time, so then it's just back to whatever you got in that, just that one class when you want to do it for a whole semester or maybe your college career. So that is one, that is one way static can be used, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, another thing is, another way you can do it is you can also make functions static here. So I can also make a static function it does here. So I can just put static above the keyword. And, and the reason because it's giving me an error here is because I did not make this, this the header function, the header definition um, static, I believe. And yes, so see my errors went away right there. So make sure those always match. You ha even have to make the static keywords match. And when I did that, nothing noticeably changed. And that's good. Because, well, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, the reason because it didn't change is because it's not intended to do anything with the functionality of the program. It's intended with how you lay out the program. So when you put static before a method, before a function call, what that means is that the function can only be used within this file. So I can only use it in testing cpp which is the function i have open right here i can't use it i can't use it in rectangle cpp which is a file my um i should include is a rectangle i have rectangle.h which references rectangle.cpp and so that allows me to use that so um for instance um rectangle cpp cannot use the help function, even though I have a reference. So let me actually make this a little bit easier to understand. So I'm going to go into my rectangle CPP file, and I'm going to print 
the help function right here. I'm going to print the help function. And it's giving me some errors. That's okay because I need to take this along with me. And I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to include it right here. I'm going to include my method definition, even though I really should just put it in my rectangle.h file, which is good practice, which I guess I'll do just to show you kitties how everything should be done. So I have, it's so other than in my class, I just have a regular helper function or something that does things. And invalid definition. Let me see if all these errors go away when I rebuild my program. Definition of help. That's because I had it twice, so it's giving me a valid error right there. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see here, I have my help function in my class file, and I should be able to call my help function with just being able, with just saying help, because the help function is not defined within this class. I don't need to create a rectangle object. If you don't understand classes, I highly suggest you to make my videos. And it's giving me errors here with my help function. What is it saying? Is it going to give me errors? It may not give me errors till I till runtime. And if I run this function, it says error existing project continue launch no. And what is it? Where is it? It's saying it's an unused function. And actually, let me try running the program with the errors, and we'll see what errors it gives me. Due to errors. So, so what it did, what it does, what it did was, is that when my program is run, it tries to link all the functions together, so it knows which functions it's properly calling. So when I'm calling this help function, it it's looking for help. It's it doesn't know where this help function is. So what what it's happened. What it does is it does it goes to this, it loads this rectangle.h file when I use this include right here it loads it and it sees that I have this static void help function, but the st the void the static means that essentially I can only run this function in this file so I can only call the help function if I'm in the rectangle cpp file like here I have I'm calling my set with and I'm calling help with that set with which I guess I will make a rectangle object and show you guys that I can call that. But I cannot call it with, and so I'm calling it within my set with method, which is awesome because it's really helpful. But what isn't ha but what's happening here is that help is not within the same file of testing CPP. So it's not valid for me to use that. And that and that's the point of static. So I can't call that function from this file. And so it, it may just be known as a function. It may just be a helper function. That's why I called it help that does something special or prints something out within the rectangle CPP file. So I may need to make a rectangle object. Uh, one dot, uh, which, what method did I call it in? I call it in set with. With, I'll give it 45 as my width. And then if I run this program, I just want to show you, demonstrate this to you guys that I couldn't correct, I can now correctly run the program and now it's printing out 10. And that's because my rectangle CPP file is calling my help set with, is calling help within it and it's running this function and it's printing out 10. And so, you know what? Let's just print it out again just to see that the static variable is working correctly and I'll set it to the set I'll set it to the same thing and I get 10 and I get 12 as you can see right there so static within a variable um, retains its value throughout the function calls so when you exit the function the variables don't reset whereas they will reset if you don't have that static keyword and fu and static in a function in a function static when you put it right in front of a function like I have right here make sure it's the same as when you have it in your dot h file when I have that help, it means that the function can only be can only be referenced from that file. It's internally linked, is what it's called. It has an internal linkage. You can only be you can only see it in that file. Think of it as, and when you can see something outside of a file, when you can see when I can get a file, when I can call a function from another file, like I can call my rectangle methods, that's called external linkage. So I can externally see everything. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please comment and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me. But other than that, have a great Christmas. And a